Viewer discretion is advised. Turn her on. Get on the ground. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. The Crime Suppression Unit is a proactive unit that encompasses everything from residential to commercial burglaries, auto thefts, narcotics. A lot of the times, the people that we're searching for, since we deal with them on a regular basis, it's kind of a mutual respect between the two of us. And so, you know, running or trying to evade capture is part of their game. It's just part of the life that they live. Right now, we're trying to uh, catch up to a vehicle. One of the other detectives is about to pull him over. Uh, we just saw one of our known burglary suspects get into this vehicle. Got one running westbound. He just bailed out. He jumped the fence northbound in the middle of the block. I got him. 6124, subject is South Correction, North Allen Avenue V. Got him. Westbound, westbound. Westbound where? Jumping the fence, westbound from V. Is somebody getting or not? He just jumped the fence. He's gonna go back, he's gonna go back to 47th Street. I'm on uh, channel two, guys. Okay, he is coming out on 48th, I believe. I need a perimeter at 48th and W. He's on the roof. Bourbon, eastbound on 41st. Get off the roof now! 2309 48th Street on the roof. Jumping the fence into the South Alley. Gray muscle shirt, hat. The alley to the south, right there. And going back towards 49. Get on the ground! Can't find you back. Sixty-one twenty-three got one in custody. Stand up, boy. We're on forty-eight and forty-seven. 49th Street, 2214 49th. You got anything on me? On you just come poke me? Uh, I don't believe so. Is there anything? Do you use points? No, sir. No needles? No, sir. Is there anything? I might have a pocket knife. I don't know. Ooh. Got a lot of gold on. Where you shop at? My homeboy. What you looking at? So what'd you run for? I don't know. What'd you run? Because I, I know I have a revoked uh, PR bond. You got like three felony warrants out for your arrest at least. Sorry. I didn't know all that. <sighs> Stand up. And then you ran from an officer the other day in a stolen car, did you not? No, sir. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> no, I was not. Where's Destiny at? Yeah, she at the house, dude? Um, what house? I'm homeless. You just left the house, did you not? What house? Dwayne's house. Huh? Dwayne's house. I don't know exactly whose house it is. I was just staying there because I ain't got nowhere to go. We people. followed you from there. I know that, sir. But that's not my people. I just stay there because they let me stay there. Because Destiny's been staying there. Put him in the car. Right? Last time Destiny went to jail, you bailed out of the car and you left, left her holding the bag, too. No, sir. Yeah, you did. When you and her stole the bicycle, you don't remember that? You took off running and 
I'm almost 23. No. Big business. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. You don't remember any of that? You're not going to throw up in the car, are you? I'm like, I'm really cool. Don't step out. Put your legs back around. Just... No, put your legs back around. Okay. I'm tired, man. I'm real tired. This is the deal, OK? We've got a lot of stuff to talk about. The church. The church. The car washes. This is the deal, OK? I know everything that you've done pretty much for the past two months. There's a reason that we were after you today. Okay, you're looking at more things than you can realistically handle at the moment, okay? All right? You've got so many things going right now that you're not going to be able to, I mean, you're not going to be charged with everything. It's just impossible. Yeah, it's just, yeah, right. It's just you're not like a one man wrecking crew at the moment. Corey, who was in the car with you? Who was driving you? Friend of someone at the it's house. Good. I don't know, I honestly don't know him. I don't, I put it on my dead you know, that I don't know the guy. Did you eat anything? Lots of meth. Lots of meth? Not while I was in the car, no, sir. But while you were running? No, sir. At the house before you left? So you used right before you got in the car? You gonna be all right? How much is lots of meth? Like a ball. Within two hours, I'd say. Within two hours? So three and a half, four grams. Did you know you wanted? You knew you had warrants for your arrest? For the PR bond? Yeah. Is that it? That's all I knew of. All right. Well, next time, don't run. Be a man. Right? Yeah, it was getting that time anyway, sir. Huh? It was that time anyway. I'm tired. All right. This is the deal, OK? You're going today for the evading on foot and then the outstanding felony warrants that you have, OK? The guys in my unit right now are probably some of the hardest working guys that I've ever had the opportunity to work for. Tackling crime kind of together and making sure that people have a voice to get their property back, to get things uh, you know, that they rely on to go to work, uh, just kind of makes my job you know, worth coming to work for. We have some intelligence that there's a guy with a felony warrant inside. Um, He's got a felony warrant for possession of a controlled substance, 4 to 200. We're going to go ahead and make contact at the house and see if we can get anybody to answer. James, this is the Love of Police Department. You have a warrant for your arrest. Come outside so we don't have to damage your grandma's house. We are not going to go away. We know you're in there. Come to the door. Lovett Police Department, come to the front door. James, have your girlfriend or whoever's in the house with you come to the front door. If you're not going to do it, somebody needs to come to the front door and talk to us. James, we're not going away. Come to the front door now. Come to the door. It's the Lovett Police Department. Right now. Right We're now. not holding on. We're not holding now. on. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold on. Move it. I'm coming to the door. Hurry up. Come on. Hello, police department. Come out the front door. Just hold. Just hold. Just hold. Chris said don't go in. We're about to start breaking doors and windows. Come to the front door. Now. Come here. Come outside. Turn around, put, turn around, put, get down on your knees right here. Turn around, put your hands. Yeah, I ain't gonna hurt nobody. Let me just get a jacket on, man. Come on, this is my family. Get, get down. down. Get down. Get on your knees. Get out. You Y'all search me or do whatever you want to do, man. I ain't got nothing telling you to come outside. Well, don't come at me like that, man. God damn, man. To your left, to your left. Come outside. Come on. Is there anybody else in the house? Babe. Can I give my girl a kiss right quick before no. I leave? Have a seat over there. I don't got nothing. I don't. I don't got on me, man. That's okay. So it's fine. Anybody else in the house, man? Can, can, can my girl sit with me just for a sec, man? This is a torch light. That's it. I ain't got nothing else. Can she please come sit with me? 
There's nobody else in there. I, I, I have to prove uh, a search warrant. How are y'all going to go in my house and search my house without a warrant? We're checking to make sure nobody it, else is it, in the house. There's no. no there, the warrant is for me. It's for James. Right. right. Why didn't you come to the because door? Because I don't have to. That's why. Y'all right. got me, right? Oh, instead, who gives a Instead, your grandma's house just gives got a yeah, and y'all are going to get in trouble for it. Yeah, How are we going to get in trouble for Because that? I got we a lawyer, you. I've got witnesses. It doesn't matter. You, you can't come into the house like that, man. Yeah, okay. can't. No, you can't. Yeah, no, you can't. can't. Oh, you can't because you think you can, but no. Nah, you, you have you a felony can't. warrant for your arrest. It doesn't <laughs> matter. I've yeah, had a felony defense. warrant before. I'm not stupid. I know, I know, because I know my we've rights. arrested you before. I know my rights, and I know that y'all cannot come into this house and search this house without a search warrant. We're past that. We've already done that. You have an arrest warrant. Matter. Come in it does, does not. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Absolutely. Exercise your right to remain. Oh, I can exercise any right that I want, just like y'all can, man. Right? Just like y'all could right up in my mother house without a search warrant. You should probably read up some more. You're without a search warrant. We told you. No, Come no, to the front dude, door. I, I've read a lot. I know about this. Buddy. No, I've read. Well, you're going to have time to read some more, so. Oh, no, I'm not. We got How much you want to bet I'll be I, out to I have a call for I'll be out again, man. I'm Again. Not, I'm not saying you're not going to get out. I already know I am, man. How come he wouldn't come to the door? We're all asleep. Anybody got warrants? No. So you don't live at, you don't live with my boy? Grandma? I haven't seen my boy. They still live at you. Grandma's house or what? Me. I don't know. They don't talk to me. I haven't How seen come? them in over a year. Why don't they talk to you? Because um, they have a lot of time in prison and our relationship never got killed. Well, they have too. Yeah. Victor well, spent a lot of time in prison. Yeah, but they just don't talk so to me. So he thinks he's better than you or something? No, my, I love my kids and they love me. We just don't talk. I'm, I'm trying to get my life together and they're not, and I just stay awake. How's Vince doing? I, I have no idea. I haven't seen him in a year. You haven't seen Vince either? Mm -hmm. She's going to be one-time PD. You ain't supposed to, to, to raid up in this house unless you physically see me with my, with your own eyes. I don't in have order to physically to see you. Yeah, you do. I have to just have knowledge no, that you're there. No, you don't have to have knowledge. Absolutely. No, man. You need, you Surely. Info? You have a warrant for your arrest. Okay. 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 It's a ticket. So, it's a, it's a ticket. ticket. Okay. Yep. So you can go with this officer right. here. No, we had another one. You left him. Checking here. First subject. Two four. Yeah, the TCSD has a cell phone for possession of special purposes. No, it's twenty nine. She's gonna go too. So hold on. Stand by just a second. You want for first ticket? I'll call y'all later on. <laughs> yeah. Love you too, man. 6124, confirm on both, please. Jailhouse law books are different. Uh, no, this is not jailhouse law books. All Texas penal codes are the same. Right. James, this is the deal, okay? The only charge you're going for today is going to be the bond forfeiture for the 4200 that you previously had, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not sure why you didn't open the door. All right. We didn't want it to come this way but we gave you every opportunity to come to the door, okay? Shirley, the only ticket you got is the one that you didn't take care of, and that's the only warrant that you have, okay? Okay. That's I your only I charge. I thought I took care of it, though. I went to jail for it. Well, you're lucky you're not going today for hindering, okay? Okay, okay. All right. What, what ticket is it, though? Can you tell me what it was for? I don't know. I'll be able okay. to tell you when we get down to the jail. Okay. It's just whatever traffic ticket you didn't take care of. Okay. Okay? Okay. James, you have any questions? I started my law enforcement career back in 2006 in the military. I did that for a little while, figured I'd like doing law enforcement better in the civilian world. So I got out, got my degree in forensics. And I got hired on with a small town agency around 2011. I got hired on here shortly after that. Uh, I've been doing this job since then. It's a job I love and couldn't see myself doing anything else. I'm gonna try to catch up to this bike, leaving a uh, gas station. It's a high crime, uh, high drug area. There's no tag on it. Made it a traffic infraction leaving the uh, gas station, so gonna try to see what's up with this guy. 32, I'm gonna be 45 at Del Rose at Morris. 32, go ahead. No 20 at a moped. Okay, a couple reasons why I stopped you. No tag, just go and sit on your bike. And when you pulled out of the U.S. gas there, you didn't stop leaving the private drive. Oh, OK, I'm okay. sorry, sir. Do you have a driver's license on you? Uh, no, not right at the moment. Um, I just bought this uh, okay. from my cousin yesterday. Do you have registration paperwork for it? Uh, not, not right at this moment, sir. I'm still waiting on all that right now. Okay. What I'll have you do is go sit in the curb for me. Yes, 
this thing looks like it may be stolen, man. It's all spray painted and it's got no tag on it. Yeah, I'm on corrections, man. And I can't do no, no nothing like that. What's your first name? Mark Way, M A R Q U A Y. Okay. I'm going to try to find the VIN on here. I'm going to have to pull a plastic tab off, OK? OK, yeah, no problem. All right, so I'm going to do that just to verify that this isn't stolen, OK? Oh, uh, yeah, you're good. Yeah, I just bought that from my cousin, man, so it ain't no. But yeah, you're good. You can go ahead and tear it off. These things are stolen all the time, man. They are? Yes, they are. Man, I just got out of jail. I just got out of jail about six weeks. Yeah? What were you in jail for? Uh, probation violation. Man, I was doing good. I was uh, doing good for about a year, and I ended up, you know, messing up, man. Okay, well, you just got to go by the you guys right here in front of the house that we were watch him at and see if right one of you guys can get the VIN for me? Yeah. Okay. I think this thing's stolen, but... Okay. I just, I can't read it, and I didn't want to get down there with him. Uh, here, I've, I've already got it started partially, but I... And how are you? Is that Trying yeah. to make it, man. Just got off of work. Where are you working at? Uh, Looks like it's called like A1 in Holly. Think that's a T? Uh, it's still like been going good, man. I, I just got out of about six weeks ago. Going about a year. I mean, look at this thing. Uh, straight. <laughs> Probation officer work with me and everything. You know, she told me I should get a mopad. So I happen to be uh, uh, leaving. And my cousin asked me if I had wanted to buy this mopad, man. Okay. I have a feeling that this bike's stolen, and just by the looks of it. There's no tag on it. So I'm running the VIN on it right now to see if it's stolen or not. Early 2016, this is stolen. This thing's been stolen for a while. It's stolen? It is stolen? Yep. Oh, wow. Yep, you're driving around a stolen bike. Are you serious? Yeah, you're under arrest For now, okay? This is crazy, man. No, you have a stolen bike. I mean, obviously, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, spread your feet for me. Man, I promise you, if I knew it was stolen, I, I mean, I, I understand you. I probably hear that every day. You have anything on it that's going to poke me, hurt me, or stick me? No. Nah. This is got my whole corrections up, man. Yeah, it sure will. Here, I'm going to take your hat off. Right. So if I would have just walked it off, I would have been cool. <laughs> You're, here's, the, here's the deal, man. You are in possession of a stolen bike. Right, I understand. So whether you were riding it, driving it, you're still in possession of it. Well, what I'm saying is, hey, you didn't know that, I mean, it, would you have knew it was stolen? I just found it was stolen, man. I'm saying, but you didn't know that it was stolen when I was right there. This thing screams stolen to me. It's spray painted and it's got no tag on it. Put got... your shoe on. We're gonna have you have a seat back here, okay? Have a seat. While we're sitting here waiting, can I smoke a cigarette? <laughs> nah, man, I'm allergic to smoke. Watch your leg. OK. Let me run him real quick and see if I can positively identify him, since he didn't have any ID on him. OK. All right, right here. Man, I'm sorry. I ain't trying to be disrespectful or nothing, man. man. It's all if I have been sorry. Uh, this is my question, man. I'm on corrections. Mm -hmm. I've been doing good, no violations, no nothing, no dirty ways, working, everything. Yeah. I mean, I, I didn't know that this was stolen, man. Yeah. What, what's, what's going to happen on this <laughs> with, or, or, I, I didn't know that. I mean, I, I, I understand that you guys are officers. When honest to God, the truth, sir. Are you talking about with your pro and stuff like that? Yeah, well, 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 yeah, but I don't, I don't, because I don't know what's going to happen. I just got out six weeks ago. And, and man, I've been stacking my money paying my bills, you know, I've been doing everything that I have to this right. Mm -hmm. So, what, what, what is my charge? Mm -hmm. What is my charge? Well, right now, you have the possession of stolen property, and then whatever else the charges are when the officer runs you. All right, I'm sorry, man. No, you're good, man. He's got a suspended driver's license. Uh, so he's gonna go to jail tonight. Um, obviously recovered his stolen scooter tonight. Hopefully we'll get a hold of the registered owner, but uh, he's gonna go uh, to jail for being in possession of some stolen property and driving while suspended. So, me in jail for a little while. I knew that thing was stolen. <laughs> Viewer discretion is advised. Turn her off. Get on the ground.
is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I grew up here, went to school here. When I was 17, I joined the Army. I went to Special Forces Selection and Assessment. I was selected, and during the training exercise, an explosion went off next to me, and I had to have my hand amputated. And so after occupational therapy in the hospital, I got a prosthetic. Um, I got kind of bored. I was medically discharged from the Army and decided that I want to be a cop. 45, GLA, close that on board. I know this guy. Uh, I've arrested him before. He's ran from me on foot before. I saw him driving. I know that he has a suspended license, and he took off on me. Deputy up the road saw him go into the grocery store, so we're going to check it out. 40. He's a drug dealer. He sells what's called Molly or MDMA. Oh, whoa, 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 don't go, well, don't do it, whoa. don't do it, don't do it. Well, I did. Oh, do not do it, well, do not buck up. Yeah. Let go of your arm. Whoa, 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 what I did? Stop what tensing I, up. Man, what did I do? Bro? I'm gonna put you on the ground next. Man, what did I do, bro? I didn't do nothing, bro. What the hell? Stop resisting oh, me. Mama. Stop resisting me. Uh, hey, 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 it's coming down, bro. Put your arms behind your back. Okay. okay, okay. Put your arms behind your back. Okay. Grab that arm. He's still fighting. Uh, you want me to taser? I can't. You have to. I didn't do nothing, bro. Taser, taser, taser. I'm done. Bro. I'm done. Ready? I'm done. Get him. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. Hands move. behind your back. Do not move. Hands behind your back. You got him, but what did I do? What the hell did I do? What? Brandon, what the hell you stop, do? stop. What did I do? Hey, calm down. Don't hey, move, bro. Brandon. What the hell did I do? Don't move, Brandon. We're going to get an ambulance out here to check it out, okay? Hey, hey, stay right down, bro. Stay right down. They tell you not to move. There's a bag of dope right here. Okay. I don't know if anything else fell out. Brandon. So there's always already small baggies uh, that he dropped. Uh, I suspect it's Molly, but uh, just making sure that he didn't drop anything else during that struggle. Randy, anything else illegal on you? Where's that thing that he dropped? That little. What do you think that is? Molly, can y'all test that for me? Thanks. He was driving. I flipped around. And I lost him. Bell sees him going to the store. I go into the store. I grab him and put him under arrest. He starts tensing up. I'm telling him, "Hey, calm down, calm down." He tries to run with me on his back. He's resisting. He's fighting. I eventually take him to the ground to try to make him comply. He still fights. Uh, I'm giving him lawful orders. He's not complying. Uh, eventually, Bill has to tase him with me on his back because he, he won't roll over. He won't give us our arm. His hands. The car? They dropped him off. Okay. Are you still out on bond from the last one? Yeah, you're still out. So you're not going to have a bond until you see a judge? Until you see a judge. Because that was only, what, a month ago? We need to remove those. He oh. ran out. That doesn't hurt that bad. Pull that one. Pull that one. Pull it. Brandon, you're getting put under arrest. It was just going to be driving on a spin of license. Hey. Now you're going to catch up to charges because of all this mess. OK. Yeah. What's up? 
So I saw him driving. Bellinger sees him in the uh, gas station as I'm trying to put him in handcuffs, stiffs up. Then he tries to take off at the door, and I grab him. We end up wrestling on the ground for a little bit, and in that little wrestling, yeah, this uh, baggie with this unknown white crystal-like substance flies out of his pockets. Um, we eventually have to tase him because he will not comply and he's resisting. Yeah. Uh, but you tested that, and what did it test positive for? MDMA. Okay, so it's MDMA or Molly? Okay. Brandon, do you have any medical issues? We have to document it. That's so messed up, bro. Like, you my life up just now. Buddy, I didn't like, make it. Run. Run, run what? Run what? You didn't run out the store. Huh? You didn't run out the store. That's now. about it. What? what? Okay. Oh what am I supposed to do? Say, oh, hey, Brandon, take care and let you go? Am I? I have no problem with you, Brandon, but you can't run, man. You can't run, because if you run, I, I, I can't just stop and let you go. What did I do? You drove. I saw you driving. That's why I was putting you under arrest. You saw me driving? I saw you. Oh, you saw me walking to the I store? I saw you what? drive. You did? I saw it. When? I would love to see that. Okay. From just getting out of bed. OK, Brandon, you can fight that, but that's what you're going to jail for. And that's what you would have been arrested for, a misdemeanor. And I could have given you a citation, but do you want to make, make, a, make a scene out of it? I don't. But it's already done. Let's kill all of man. Listen, it's, it's already done. My hey, daughter's birthday coming up. Okay. Baby mama died, but I can't take this one. The one in Hawthorne? No, yeah, I yeah, can't take it. When you see a judge, uh, uh, see if your mama will bond you out when you see a judge. What charges are that? Resisting, driving on suspended license, and then possession of Molly. How? Possession of Molly? Yeah. What the f***? Brandon, you, you don't, don't, you, 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 you're saying it to me like I caused this. Okay, I didn't cause nothing. You did. I don't make your decisions. You do, brother. You're a man. And there's there's consequences. All right, good luck to you, Brandon. Yeah, I like to go golfing with my buddy um, who works with the sheriff's office. It's a good time. We don't we don't even bring up work usually. And I, I think you do need something to kind of take your mind off it. Sometimes you do see some stuff. It's kind of hard to forget. It's a good you know couple hour getaway until you come back to work and you come back with motivation and hopefully we can try to turn some things around. This vehicle in front of me, um, it's got a temporary tag. It's not displayed properly. It's kind of flapping around the, in the wind, so we're going to see what's going on with it. What up, man? How are you? Hey, you got your license with you? Your, your, um, your, your plate is flapping everywhere, man. You can't oh, read it. God. You got to button that thing down. Mom's car, buddy. It's all right. That's a good decision. Hop out, man. Okay. It's the car. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Bro, don't do that. Don't do anything stupid, right? Come on, man. That wasn't slick at all. Yeah, I'm not. Okay, sir, just watch me. Put him in a car. I'm straight. I'm good. Just watch it. I want to find the phone. How about, bro? Good, buddy. I got it. Right back. I got it. Right. This is my mama's car. All right, we're going to walk back here, all right? I'm not arrested, right? No, you just be detained right now, bro, right? I ain't going to be my Hey, just right here. Hey, can you hang out with this guy? I ain't going nowhere. Anybody else in the car? We're good, buddy. No. No. I know we're good, man, but I, I can't put you in my car right now. The passenger has dropped a clear plastic baggie on the floorboard. It's a little crack rock, and then this one actually fell from his hands. It's a white rock. It looks like crystal meth to me. So we took him out and secured him real quick. Yeah. Was that on him? Yeah. What was it? Yeah. Marijuana on him? Yeah. Or was that out of his pocket? Yeah. He admitted to it before what pocket? I didn't check by the left front. Hey, how's that? How's that? How's that? Hey. Dude, he was super skittish, man. He was in the front seat. You can see him shaking and stuff. Yeah. And then he had his fist balled up, and he could see the stuff on the floorboard, so. Okay. Not very slick. Yeah. All right, what's your name? Zachary. Oh, I think I've dealt with you before, right? Over here. With your long, buddy. He was here a long time yeah. ago, huh? Yeah, your buddy got arrested for meth. Yeah, that one guy. All right, and your license is good, right? As far as you know? Well, I've been, I got out of prison, Memphis, I did eight years in Memphis. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, I had my license. Okay. Right, I went on a date, sir, that's what I was doing. You're what? I, I went on a date, I was on a date. Right now? Well, yeah, my food's so warm now. I come back Where'd from you the go, day. Super Tacos? Uh, what's that place over? Uh, my, my, my day picked it. All right, I'm going to come back and talk to you in a second, all right? I'm just going to gather some stuff up, and I'll make sure those drugs ain't going yeah, anywhere. Yeah, yeah, please, don't. It's mama's car. I'll come back to talk to you, OK? Yeah, I didn't know you had a mama's car. I got your anyways. Last time I got arrested, I had a whole police car over there. 
He's got a warrant. Okay. The driver's got a warrant oh. for battery. No, no, I got a warrant. You got a warrant, man. What's, what's for? You got a uh, warrant for battery. Go ahead. No valid actual driver's license. Can you do me a favor, sir? What? This is my mom's car. It's well, listen, old. man. Let me let me finish up what I gotta do. I'm I gotta run all this stuff. Time. Make sure you got a license and stuff. And I gotta talk to your homeboy. And I'll come back and talk to you. Please tell me I'm not trying to like box. I got you. Hey, Nick, Nicholas, we found some crack and, and meth and stuff where you were sitting. None of that was um, mine. In, in plain view, basically. And you had that prescription uh, bottle in your hands, balled up. Is that what you're trying to hide as well? But yes, it was in the Yeah, is, are those, is that your medication? Uh, those are muscle relaxers. They're what? Muscle relaxers. Oh, OK. Are they yours? Yeah, yes. Obviously, <laughs> there was a reason I pulled you out of the car so quick. Yeah. But so, so the crack and the crack and the meth and all that good uh, stuff's not yours? No, so no? you I need to look at my record. Yeah. Was it his? Was it the guy driving? Yeah. He's like, he threw it to you and he's like, yo, hold this for me or what? Like, go in the glove box, take it out, and... So it was in the glove box? Yep. And he took it out? What were we going to do with it? I had no idea. Honestly, I was so nervous and honestly, and I'm feeling... Are you on anything right now, man? I just smoked. That's it. Just smoked a little bit of weed? Yeah, so the, the only thing in that car that belongs to you is the marijuana that was in your pocket. All right, are you on paper right now? Yeah. No. All right, man, I appreciate your honesty. Zachariah, man. I know, I know anything about that. So, like, I'm trying to tell you is I need you to. Uh, you don't know anything about what? Whatever it is you got in your pocket. I don't think about that. They were here pulled you out. Like, I seen you pull something out, so. Right yeah. Here. Um, I need, I need, uh, you deal with mama? Please, hmm? don't, please don't take my mama's car. It's something she's going to ask. They're severely all certain in line. All right, well, let me, let's get to that when we get to that, man. I want to, I want to talk about what's in the car. All right. all right, we found some crack, we found some meth, stuff like that. I don't want to think about that. All right, who's this guy in the passenger seat? That's my buddy. We were, uh, American Legion's with you. Oh, you know him. A year. All right. For tonight, you're, you're going to take the ride, all right? I understand that. You got no license, and you got a warrant for your arrest. No, I understand it, sir. I just want to let her know. Yeah, I'll call car. Take a seat, though, right? Car, sir. Take a seat. You promise me, sir? Sit in my car. I beg of you. Sit on the sir. Sit. Just get one. All right, man. Watch your head. Can't put any narcotics on him. Passed with the vehicle. Um, denied anything being his, except the marijuana that he found in his pocket. Um, but he was basically literally sitting on it, and it was right below his feet. So we have constructive possession on that. All right, man. You're going to be taking the ride tonight for the possession of meth uh, mm -hmm. and, and cocaine and the possession of marijuana in your pocket. Do you understand what you're going to jail for? I guess. But well, he's going to. He's not. He's not. It's not. Yeah, but why is, am I being charged for something like that? Well, the issue is I can't, I can't say anything. He, he denied anything of it. You denied anything of it. The only issue is, or for you, the issue is, the, the drugs are underneath your feet. You tried hiding them. You knew they were there. I mean, yeah, but there, there was no way that stuff is mine. Well, right now. That's what court's for, bro. Okay. All right, man. Well, that's what we're going with, okay? I used to be a police officer in a large city, and as my children started getting a little older, my wife and I came to the conclusion that we didn't want to raise our children in a big city. So we started venturing out, and we came across Boise, Idaho, and I absolutely fell in love with the agency. I compared it a lot to my old agency. I've been up here about two years, and my wife, kids, and I love it, and I just look forward to the next 25 years serving uh, Boise PD. Uh, we just saw a guy peering into a window of a closed business back here. So we're going to flip around and see what's going on. 3 David 82 traffic. Hey, hold on a second, partner. 3 David 82, go ahead. There's going to be a white male on a bicycle. Orchard by the um, fitness crunch. Fakuni. Hey, how you doing, man? Uh, I'll uh, stop and talk to you real quick. Uh, what were you doing at the business right here? I, I was looking in because um, I, I was um, going to get a job there, A, B, and the place was closed the last time, and my, my um, family member was supposed to have bought it. <laughs> oh, OK. And there's no, no big deal. OK, yeah. I know, uh, there's, there's no big deal. I'm just going oh, home. OK, yeah, no. Uh, I'm sorry. We were just driving by, and we know the business is closed, I'm and we've seen you peeking in there. I didn't know yeah. if somebody else was inside. Plus, or... plus I want to know what they, you know, what, 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 what they were serving, you know, and you know, and stuff like that. So, I mean, like, like I've never really eaten there, and, and I, you know, and I'm gonna, I just started up a new job there over here, and I, and I wanted a second job here. Plus, I wanted to see what they, they know, what they. Oh fed. wow. 
Yeah, because I work all the time. Have you have you applied there yet, or? Um, yes. Yeah. This morning I did. Do you know what they sell? Like um, what kind of food? Um, they they sell um, like a lot of raspberry type, uh, like um, drinks. Water. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Ra ra raspberry kinds of drinks. Um, All right. I swear to God, I was just kidding. Okay, yeah, I'm not so, a huge deal. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'll never do it again. Okay. Um, have you ever been in trouble with the law? Like, have you ever been arrested before? Oh, a, long, a long time ago. Here in Boise? Yeah. Okay, what was it for? Um, um, uh, I, I, uh, let me get some so long ago. Um, I, I think grand theft, it was one of them, the long ass. Like I'm stealing lost. something? Yeah. Do you have any ID on your partner? Um, I actually do not have any identification no. on me. What's your first name, sir? John. How do you spell it? J-O-N-J-J-O-H-N Smith. How do you spell it? S-M-I-F-T-H-S. <laughs> so, I'm sorry? T-H Smith. Uh, can you spell it again? M-I-T-H Smith. Smith, okay. John. John Smith. Smith. You look kind of familiar. I, I'm, I, Did I stop you on Overland by a bank? Yes, yes. By a bank. Yes, yes, a long time ago. Yeah, because yeah. you had your, uh, your, your rolling. Oh, 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 my stuff out, stuff like that, yeah. And, yeah, uh, it was like another same thing. You were by the business yeah, after hours. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I won't do it again. OK. Here's the thing, man. Like I said, it's not a huge deal, but I want to know who I'm talking to to make sure you're not going to pull one over on me. So step off the bike, man. I'm gonna pat you down for weapons real quick, okay? I'm not here to harm you. No, no, I know, I know. Okay, just put your hands behind your back. Is it okay if I search your pockets? I, I, I probably not, no. No? Okay. I'm just no, gonna pat no. you down for any other weapons, I mean, okay? I mean, you can pull my knife out. I mean, okay. I, I, don't, I don't have, I'm not uh, I know you're not a criminal. I'm not actually a criminal. But I thought I... What's that? Oh. Should be chewed up aspirin, or, you know, Chew part, part of clonopin. I feel like you're not being straightforward, I'm, I'm, man. I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm, I'm... All right, relax, partner. Just because you're not being totally honest with me, I'm gonna place you in handcuffs right now. You said you had a knife in your right pocket. You gave me permission to look in your right your pocket. Pockets, no, 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 no. And I'm, that's what I'm looking for. And then I found that. This looks like methamphetamine to me in this bag. Do you use methamphetamine? Um, I have before. Did you give me a bogus name, man? Probably. What'd you say, probably? So what's your name, dude? Russell. Why'd you give me a fake name? Are you on parole or probation? Yeah. Which one? Probation. Probation? What for? Um, drugs. Drugs? So is this meth, man? It could be that, yes. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm not trying to lie to you. I know. Like that. You're being straight up now. Thank you. All right, let's just go over to my car and have a seat, man, while we test that real quick, OK? This is the true narc where it uses a laser to test the substance. That way we don't have to pull any of the substance out. We don't even have to open up the bag. It uh, utilizes a laser and it'll give us a reading of what the substance is. So we already scanned the, the product and now it's just analyzing <clears throat> what the substance is. And so you can see it uh, came back positive for uh, methamphetamine. All right, Russell. What, what were you really doing, man? I mean, you told me you applied there. I, I was really looking at the menu. The menu? Yes. And why were you looking at the menu? I mean, that's kind of odd. Well, I, I just wanted to know what they were serving. Like in the daytime? Yeah. Like, were you going to come back and... Yeah. Okay. And then the next thing is you gave me a fake name. You gave me the most common name there is in America, John Smith. And then you couldn't even spell the last name. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Can I ask you how long you've been addicted to methamphetamine? Um, probably six years. Probably six years. Six years? Yeah. We have a lot of resources and programs here in Boise to help with addictions to drugs. Would that interest you? Well, I, I, I'm sure it's, I can find my own. Find your own help? Yeah. All right, Russell, so at this time, uh, you're just going to be going down to the Ada County Jail for possession of methamphetamine and um, giving a police officer a false name, OK? OK. Mm -hmm. Two and three.